So here we've got a question involving uh, some of the rules of indices and some of the uh, fancy words associated with indices. Um, so we've got uh, reciprocal, we've got an evaluate and index um, power statement, and we've got to work with standard form, which is another form of writing numbers in uh, powers. So this word reciprocal. Um, when you've got the reciprocal of a number, then we're looking for five times something, and that's going to give us an answer of one. So the reciprocal always multiplies by what it is and gives an answer of 1. So our question mark is going to be doing the opposite of the times in here. So we're going to end up dividing. So the answer here will be 1 fifth. So again, the reciprocal is multiplied by the number of starting point and will always give you an answer of 1. Evaluate uh, something to the power of negative 2. Well, we need to remember our rules of uh, indices and powers. And when we've got a negative power, then it's always take the reciprocal, 1 over, and divide by the base number and its power. So in this case, 3 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 over. And we've got 3 and 2 left, so it's going to be 3 squared. It says evaluate, so it means don't leave it as a power. You actually work out what 3 squared is, so that's going to be 1 ninth. Calculate the standard form. Well, here we've got a sum that we're doing in timesing, so this could be rearranged. So we can do 9 times 3, the numbers first, then do the powers of 10. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27. 10 to the power of 4 times 10 to the power of 3. Well, we need to remember that uh, when we're timesing with the same base numbers, the powers can be added. So 4 plus 3, so that gives me 27 times 10 to the power of 7. But then we've got to remember that the question says work in standard form. So standard form numbers are always going to be times 10 to the power of something. But the front has to be less than 10, but bigger than or equal to 1. So that means we've got to change this down to 2.7. And if we change that down to 2.7, 27 was the same as doing 2.7 times 10 to the power of 1. Still times it by 10 to the power of 7. So again, the rules of powers with the same basis tell us that we're going to add the 1 and 7, which will make 10 to the power of 8. So the final answer here will be 2.7 times 10 to the power of 8. So again, just to remember some basic ideas about standard form. Um, the front of the standard form number must be between 1 and less than 10. So 1 point something, 2 point something, and so forth, up to 9 point something. And the power bit is always an integer, um, so it's going to be either a positive integer or a negative integer. And we get the answer here by multiplying through. So some special words, uh, reciprocal. Whatever the reciprocal of a number is, then times in by that number will always give you an answer of 1. So for example, if I want the reciprocal of, say, 2 thirds, then I'd be doing 2 thirds times something equals 1. So that something will be 1 divided by 2 thirds. Well, 1 divided by 2 thirds is the same as multiplying by 3 over 2. So 1 times that will be 3 over 2. And that works because 2 over 3 times 3 over 2 is 6 over 6, which is 1. So just another example of using the word reciprocal.